In just a couple minutes time, we're gonna set up a truffle hog pre-commit hook to stop ourselves from accidentally committing API keys and passwords to a Git repo. Every developer has done that at some point by accident, including me, and Trufflehog is the best tool for finding those API keys and stopping them from leaking out. Trufflehog is open source and it runs locally and it'll actually test the keys out that it finds. So it's only stopping the keys that are actually live. So if you have like a test password in your readme, it's not gonna block that. Pre-commit is a general tool that runs right when you run a commit and will stop that commit from actually happening if a certain check fails. So we'll start by installing Trufflehog and we're gonna do this on an Ubuntu x86 machine. So we'll head on over to the Trufflehog repository, go to the releases page and we'll find the latest x86 Trufflehog binary to download. Now we're gonna download that onto our machine and we'll extract it and then we'll move it into our path. Then we'll just install pre-commit with pip. And now we can set up our hook. So first we need a repository to install this on. We're just gonna make a new repository. And then we'll create our pre-commit config file, which tells pre-commit what to run when we do our pre-commit check. So here's the config code needed to run Trufflehog. Don't worry, you don't need to remember this. You can just borrow this straight from the official Trufflehog documentation. If we take a look at what's actually happening here, every time there's a commit, we're going to use bash to invoke Trufflehog, and we're going to scan the latest commits and only fail the pre-commit if there is a live secret. So that's what verified means, that there is a live API key that we're trying to commit. Now what the since commit flag says is just scan the latest change set. So don't scan all the files, don't scan all the hill history, just scan the latest changes from the most recent commits. And then lastly, we can see that we're running this on every commit and every push event. So we're not only gonna stop keys from getting checked in locally, but we're also gonna stop them from getting pushed up. So then we will save that out and we're just gonna install that hook. And now we can check in our config file itself, which should run the new hook. And that should pass because there aren't any keys in the config file. And there we go, we can see the Truffle Hog test ran and there were no problems. So now the last test that we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to actually check in a live API key. So we'll create a new file and we'll paste in an Amazon key. And yes, this is a live Amazon key that you actually can authenticate with. And then when we go to actually commit this, the Truffle Hog pre-commit will run again a second time And there we go, this time it failed. The reason it failed was because of that AWS key. And you can see the details of what triggered the truffle hog pre-commit, um, some information about the AWS key itself. And there you have it, protecting yourself from checking in live API keys and passwords in under two minutes with a truffle hog pre-commit hook.